everybody! Today we are going to make kaktugi. Kaktugi is kimchi made with radish cubed. Actually, long time ago, I posted kimchi recipe with kaktugi here. But at that time, just kimchi, napa cabbage, and radish kimchi together. So it's difficult for you to follow the exact measurement. So today, I'm going to give you really exact measurement to make a delicious kaktugi. Radish Korean grocery store, you can get this very heavy and large. And then let's peel the skin. And then I'm going to rinse in cold water. Now we are going to cut this into cubes. So we have uh, many wheels. Let's uh, cut this into cubes. This way. Kosher salt, two tablespoons. One, two, and sugar, sugar, two tablespoons. Mix this evenly, and then let it sit. Every ten minutes, turn it over like this. Right? Lots of water, you know, the water drawn out from this radish. I'm going to pour this juice here. We are going to use this juice soon. Let's season this kaktugi. Very easy. So I'm going to around two tablespoons of minced garlic. Garlic. We add this here. Four stalks of green onions. Ginger. Okay, now we are going to mix with uh, hot pepper flakes and uh, fish sauce. Hot pepper flakes third cup fish sauce quarter cup so if you are vegetarian uh, instead of fish sauce use soy sauce leftover juice have one third cup mix all together So our kaktugi is more and more so red and smells so good, delicious. Delicious. Okay, when you uh, transfer this kaktugi into a glass jar, always you have to press down like this. Press, press, press. No more air. Guy also press down. Now clean up. Close the lid like this. Keep this at the room temperature until it starts fermenting. It may take one day or two days. I'm going to taste my kaktugi with kongnamulguk, soybean sprout soup. Let's taste the kaktugi. Hmm. Kaktugi. 
crunchy, awesome, crunchy, a little sour, a little sweet, like a pickle. Enjoy this with the kongnamulgu. See you next time. Bye.